our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari word number one hadith number seven he said that Islam is based on five pillars first is La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon the messenger of Allah second is Salah third is Zakat fourth is Hajj and fifth is Psalm the first is that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is a concept of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 177 it's not righteousness that you turn your face to the east or west but it is righteousness that you believe in Allah you believe in the year after life after death you believe in his books you believe in the angels and you believe in his messengers as well as the destiny the glorious Quran says in Surah Al Imran chapter number 3 verse number 64 it says Kul ya al kitab say O people of the book say O Jews and Christian that come to common terms as between us and you which is the first term Allah na'buda illallah that we worship none but Allah wala nushrika bihi shayyam that we associate to partners with him wala yattakhiza baaduna baadan arbaban minun illah that we erect not among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah fain tawallahu if then they turn back fakulu shadu say we bear witness Bianna Muslimun that we are Muslims bowing our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this verse of the glorious Quran shows you a way how to speak with the Ahle Kitab with the Jews and Christians it says Ta'ala wila kalmitin sawa'im bainina bainakum that come to common terms as between us and you which is the first term Allah na'abuda illallah that we worship none but Allah and the concept of Almighty God in Islam the best definition is given in Surah Ikhlas chapter number 112 verse number 1 to 4 which says Qul huallahu ahad say he is Allah one and only Allah hussaman Allah the absolute and eternal lam yalid wa lam yulad he begets not nor is begotten wa lam yakul lahu kufu an ahad there is nothing like him this is a four line definition of Almighty God given in the glorious Quran Qul huwa Allah huwad say is Allah one and only Allah hu samad Allah the absolute and eternal lam yalid wa lam yulad he begets not nor is begotten wa lam yakul lahu kufu an ahad there is nothing like him this is a four line definition if any candidate claiming to be Almighty God fits in this four line definition we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that person as Almighty God and the glorious Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 48 that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive it not that you join partners with him and anyone who joins partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has committed a heinous sin Allah will forgive it any other sin if he wishes but joining partner with Allah Allah will never forgive the Quran repeats the message in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 116 that Allah forgive it not the sin of joining partners with him anything else if Allah pleases he may forgive but joining of partners he will never forgive that means shirk that is associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the greatest sin in Islam and a similar message is given in the book of Exodus in the Bible chapter number 20 verse number 3 and 5 that thou shall have no other God besides me Almighty God is speaking thou shall have no other God besides me thou shall not make unto thee any graven image of the likeness of anything in the heaven above in the earth beneath and in the water under the earth thou shall not bow down to them not serve them for I thy God thy Lord is a
similar message repeated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 9. Had? Thou shalt have none other God besides me. Thou shalt make no graven image of anything, of any likeness of things up in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, and in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. That means making images of Almighty God, doing idol worship, is strictly prohibited in the Bible. And I start my talk by quoting a verse from the glorious Quran, from Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 72, which says, لَقَدْ كَفْرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمَ That they are doing kufr, they are blaspheming. Those who say that Jesus, peace be upon him, the son of Mary, he is Allah. They are blaspheming those who say that Jesus, son of Mary, claimed divinity, said he is Allah. وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحُ But said Christ, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, A'abudullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who is my Lord and your Lord. Innuhumma yushrik billah. Anyone who associates partners with Allah, Fakad haram Allah ulayu al-jannah. Allah will make jannah haram for him. Paradise will be forbidden for him. Wama wa hunnar, wama li zalimin min ansar. And fire shall be his dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the year after. Jesus, peace be upon him, himself said, that in no mishrik billah, anyone who associates partners with Almighty God, fakat haram Allah ulayu al-jannah, paradise will be forbidden for him. Heaven will be forbidden for him. Wama wa hunnar, wama li zalimin min ansar, and fire shall be his dwelling place. And in the year after, he'll have no helpers. But there are certain Christians who say that Jesus, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. He said that he's Almighty God. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is no unequivocal statement, not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus, peace be upon him, himself says that he's God or where he says, worship me. I would like to repeat that if you read the Bible, there is no unequivocal statement, not a single, in the complete Bible where Jesus, peace be upon him, himself says that he is God or where he says, worship me. If any Christian can show me any verse anywhere from the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that he is God or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity immediately. I am not speaking on behalf of the other Muslims. Since I am a student of comparative religion, I have read the Bible, I am ready to put my head on the guillotine. In fact, if you read the Bible, Jesus, peace be upon him, himself said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, Jesus, peace be upon him, says, My father is greater than I. In the Gospel of John,